Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Express LRS version of the Beta FPV Meteor 75 brushless swoop. While its title is not very exciting, this is actually a completely redesigned quadcopter and it features new components that make it totally different than the other versions of the Meteor 75 and also in my opinion one of the best whoop style micro quadcopters to date and in this video I'm going to show you the new components, give my feedback after testing it out and show you some flight footage. The first new component that it features is a 25.5 by 25.5 mm Express LRS F4 all-in-one 1S flight controller. It features an integrated Express LRS radio receiver, a ceramic SMD antenna which in my experience is going to get you farther than most of the VTXs that you're going to use, a full UART port in addition to a one which is occupied by the Express LRS radio receiver, a dedicated smart audio pad which using soft serial is going to enable you to configure your VTX, an integrated 5 amperes BLLES 4 in 1 ESC, it only supports 1S batteries, and it comes pre-soldered to a BT 2.0 battery connector. In addition, including the BT 2.0 battery connector and the 5 cm long battery leads, it weighs 4 grams, without them it weighs 3.1 grams, and in order to reduce some weight, you can also remove the motor plugs. As for Betaflight configuration, the flight controller comes pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.3.0, which is still not fully supported by the current Betaflight configurator, in order to bind the integrated Express LRS radio receiver with your Express LRS radio module, simply head over to the receiver tab on Betaflight, hit the bind receiver button, and initiate the binding procedure on your radio module. Next on the list, we've got a new VTX. The other versions of the Meteor 75 feature a 25mW VTX, which is integrated into the flight controller, and the Express LRS version features the Beta FPV M03, a 48 channels VTX that supports smart audio, has a selectable output power of 25, 100, 200 and 350 milliwatts and without its antenna it weighs only 1.1 grams. Finally the Express LRS version of the Meteor 75 is equipped with different motors and propellers than the other versions. It comes with the Beta FPV 0802 SE 19,500 kV motors and Gemfan 40mm by blade propellers in comparison to 1102 18,000 kV motors and Gemfan 40mm tri blade propellers on the other versions. In my experience, this combination works extremely well, and using a 450 mAh 1S LHV battery, I got between 4 to 6 minutes of flight time, which is great. And as far as I can tell, the flight performance of the Express LRS Meteor 75 is better than the previous version. In terms of weight, without a battery, the Express LRS Meteor 75 weighs 24.2 grams, and including it, the total weight is 37 grams. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the Express LRS version of the Meteor 75. Overall, after testing it out, I can tell you that as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is one of my favorite whoops, as it is extremely fun to fly it, it provides you with plenty of fly time, the performance is really great, and it is also very durable, as I crashed it many times, and since the frame is very flexible, it is not going to break easily, which is something that is very important. The only downside, in my opinion, is the camera, which is not amazing, so maybe on their next update they should come up with a better camera, which is going to provide you with a better performance, especially under low light conditions. Now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage, so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.